Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show to take your life back today's show. Don't forget, I have five books that I have written. So I'm an author, and I hope you read my books. And if you want to see a video version of this, go to YouTube under the channel, Take Your Life Back Today Show. In the difficulties of this stay-at-home season, you may be struggling with your thoughts, your fears, your worries, and attitudes in a way like maybe never before. This is all new to us. Perhaps you're realizing that you still have strongholds of wrong thinking that uh, need to be broken in life. Well, friends, you know that you can't keep thinking the old negative way and have the new things that God wants you to do in your life. The Apostle Paul says that if we want to become more like God, we have to renew our minds. He says, don't be uh, 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 conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind. And uh, that is in Romans 12, too. When you renew your mind, you tr transform your life. If you're given your life to Jesus, you're a brand new creature. And it, your, your spirit has been made new. The problem is, is that many of us have old habits, addictions, and strongholds in our thinking that are contrary to what God wants us to think. So friends, our mind needs to catch up with what's going on in our spirit which can only happen when we are no longer conforming to our old thinking, but rather submitting ourselves to the Word of God. When you read the Word of God and put yourself under its teaching, you dislodge strongholds in your mind. You break the grip that wrong thoughts have over you. You release the chain. You break that link in that chain. And, and, and fortunately, we have so many ways of doing that because we have the Word of God at our fingertips. Printed Bibles, Bible websites, Bible apps, Christian music, podcasts, and Christian TV. We choose what we listen to and watch. And when you put yourself under the Word of God, the strongholds that are trying to hold you back will be broken. Paul says the following, To him who is able to exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask, think, or imagine. I love that. God can do anything, but listen to the second part. According to the power that work in us. According to the power that work in us in Ephesians 3.20. God is saying that when you align your mind with the power that's in you, your mind will be transformed. You're in the battle, and you know that it's time to stand up and fight. It's going to, it's time to, uh, to uh, declare, I'm not going to be held down by the old ways and old patterns of thinking. I'm going to live in the word each and every day consistently. Whether you're fighting an addiction or maybe an illness or wrong thought patterns, listen to the word of God constantly and let it bathe and sanctify and transform your mind as it renews you starting today. It will detox all those old ways and bring you into new ways, into the ways of God. Call me at 844-405-HELP because together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a smile to that older person down the road or even your neighbor can change their day, change their life, and it can change your life too. Remember, God truly loves you, and God will always be standing by you. Reach out to God for guidance and direction. And remember, God, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only.